<laughs> yeah, let's go take a picture. <laughs> Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Today I have a fun DIY holiday drink video and to help me with that, I have Katie Wanders, who is a really, really, really good friend of mine and no one knows drinks like you do. No one knows drinks like I do. No. Although these are mocktails. But Katie's gonna help me along and show us how to make a really good cocktail, but we're gonna do the mock versions. So this is really fun. I'm excited. So they're for everyone. Yeah. So we have three different recipes, so let's get on to the first one. Ooh. So the first drink we made is called a mocktail mule, and this is based after a Moscow mule. First thing you do with this is you take some mint leaves and some simple syrup. Simple syrup is it? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, and you just put that into the bottom of your glass. Then you'll use the back of a spoon to just basically squish it all up. It's called muddling, and it releases all the flavors of the mint into the simple syrup, so it's more like a mint flavor than simple syrup. And also muddle the lime with that too. Oh okay. yeah. So there's a lot of flavors to and to top it all off, we put mostly ginger beer. We filled ginger beer almost to the top and then put in a clear soda. I just used some Sprite and just added maybe like a fourth a cup. You can eyeball it, whatever you think will suit your taste. And we topped it off with a little lime wedge and a mint garnish. And I think this one, this one looks really pretty. It looks so Instagrammable. Yeah. Yay. Okay, do you want to try this one? <laughs> Oh, that's actually really good. Yay! It's really, um, very refreshing, actually. No way! Yeah, it's really minty. I mean, yes way! Mm. So the second drink we have we called a French Fest, and this one is based off the champagne cocktail called a French 75. But of course, it is alcohol free. This is how we roll on this channel. <laughs> Look how pretty this so is! Cute. I think this one's the easiest to make, and it's also the prettiest. For sure. I really like this. To start off, you're going to want to garnish your glass with the candy cane. Mm -hmm. So we have two plates, and on one you'll put some simple syrup, which is just part water, part sugar, um, and you'll rim the glass with the simple syrup, and this will make it tacky so that the candy cane will stick to it. And we decided to use candy cane as the rim because it's really, really festive, and Christmas is coming up yeah. soon, and it's really delicious. So good. Um, but if you want to make this for New Year's or for a party or a birthday, you can add sprinkles on the outside. Really, the sky is the limit. Yeah, absolutely. You can color sugar, anything. <gasps> yes. Yeah, great idea. So to make this one, we added one tablespoon of simple syrup and then squeezed a half of a lemon in there to add that nice, zesty, citrusy taste. And then you chopped it up with some Sprite. Yeah, and that's it. So simple. So easy. Really, really. But very refreshing. And if you ever want to try this one with champagne, really the only substitute is the champagne. Instead and of the Sprite. Yeah, so if you want to try the real thing, be yeah, my guest. Go ahead. Here's for the taste test of this one. It's almost pretty. I'm going to drink on this side. It's less pain. Thumbs up. Very refreshing. You can taste on that lemon though. Oh, I really like the candy cane on the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for the third drink, we made a Alexander all the mode. Yay! Yay! So to make this, we took up some broken pieces of chocolate and added it to some milk and then put it on a medium heat and then stirred it up and let it simmer. After that, we took a scoop of vanilla ice cream and put it into a mason jar. And then we poured over the chocolate milk mixture from the stove on top of the ice cream and this creates like a delicious frothy looking top and it makes it really look like a Brandy Alexander which is what this is, it's a mocktail after Brandy Alexander. And then we finished it off with a sprinkle of cinnamon. And there you go. This one I think it looks like the most yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah. Even though I can't have any of it. Oh, sadness. I'll just have to drink it all. <sighs> Too bad. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. That's why I'm And it's all mine. Ha 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 ha. So anyway, guys, those are our three simple DIY mocktails. They are delicious. Please try them. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my video I'm so today. excited to be here. Uh, you guys have no idea. I wanted to have Katie in one of my videos for so long, but yeah. we've lived in different places for a really long time. It's been very difficult. Yeah. And then when we are together, we just have too much fun chatting to actually film. Yeah, so she's visiting me right now in Toronto. So it's the perfect opportunity <laughs> to get our video in. Yeah. And I'm so excited. If you guys want to know what we've been up to while Katie's been here in Toronto, you can click her link down below. 
below, or there's going to be a nice little thing on her head here, so you can click her face and go check out her channel. Hi, she's yeah. one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh. So I love her. <laughs> also, if you guys want to make any of these drinks at home or with some of your friends, make sure you tag us over on Instagram and Twitter. Please do. I would love to see them. They would be so awesome to see those pictures. It's really cool. And if you would like, you can subscribe to both of us, come one of our amazing subscribers, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye! Bye.